Ashland, a world leader in water-based coatings innovations, is introducing a new breakthrough technology with Natrosol Performax HEC. This presentation will introduce you to Natrosol Hydroxyethyl Cellulose, abbreviated as HEC the leading thickener in water-based paints. In this presentation, we will discuss unmet market needs, Natrosol Performax HEC's impact on paint manufacturing, and the key benefits behind this product, including its portfolio, cases, influence on paint properties, and use guidelines. Natrosol hydroxyethyl cellulose, abbreviated as HEC, has been the leading thickener for waterborne architectural coatings for more than 50 years. Hydroxyethyl cellulose is widely used as the primary rheology modifier in waterborne latex paints around the world. HEC offers a number of advantages. These are the utility in a broad range of formulations, delivery of full-bodied rich consistency, freeze-thaw stability, dilution tolerance, excellent compatibility with surfactants and colorants, pH and electrolyte stability, among other benefits. Today, the majority of HEC is sold as a powder. The powder form of HEC offers convenience in product shipping, 100% active and no presence of additional water or solvent, storage as well as the ease of product dosing and handling in paint production facilities. Natrosol Performax is a new range of HEC thickeners, allowing formulators and manufacturers of paint to move away from the traditional way of using HEC and thereby enabling them to streamline and de-bottleneck paint manufacturing by a better utilization of equipment, resources, and raw materials, eventually resulting in a better control of paint quality and plant output. At the same time, the final properties of the paint or the dry film after application will be fully maintained. In many regions around the world, paint manufacturers practice the paint making process for many decades and are very familiar with the routines and procedures involved with making good paint. The traditional process of paint making generally involves a one stage or two stage production setup providing paints of excellent quality. This image depicts a two-stage paint-making process with dedicated dispersion and letdown tanks and showing the dosage of HEC in the various stages of production. Although the use of HEC will deliver paints with outstanding properties, the downside is that the dry HEC powder can only be used by dry addition in the grind stage of the paint manufacturing process. In the grinding stage, Water is added first to an empty tank, followed by addition of dry HEC, followed further by addition of pigments, surfactants, defoamers, etc. The disadvantage of this approach is the formation of a highly viscous grind phase that results in high power consumption, potential motor overload, excessive heating of the batch, and possible difficulties in transferring the grind phase to the letdown tank in the case of the two-stage paint making process. In order to gain more process flexibility, HEC is also used as a pre-made solution or sometimes as a slurry. This will allow paint manufacturers to also dose the HEC in a later stage of the production process and incorporate under low shear conditions. This mode of HEC use, however, will require dedicated unit operation where a solution is made and often a large storage tank to hold the solution. The HEC solution needs to have sufficiently low viscosity to be pumped and as a result contains only a relatively low concentration of HEC. Increasing the concentration of HEC in the pre-made intermediate is possible but will have limitations with respect to storability, pumpability, and stability. The large quantity of water delivered with HEC in this pre-made form also puts strain on paint recipes and may take away manufacturers' flexibility in, for example, formulating higher solids paints 
or switching to the use of pigments in a pre-slurry form. In summary, using HEC in a solution or slurry form ties up large quantities of water, requires mixing and storage vessels, additional manpower, and may result in a longer paint making cycle due to this additional operation. Let's take a look at the incorporation of conventional HEC versus Natrosol Performax in real time. Simulating a paint production situation in a laboratory setup, a slurry was prepared using water, pigments, and fillers. Under low shear conditions, conventional hydroxyethyl cellulose is added on the left hand side. On the right hand side, Natrosol Performax was added to the paint. While stirring at low speeds, both the conventional HEC and Natrosol Performax are rapidly entrained in the fluid. While maintaining stirring speeds on the left hand side, the formation of lumps becomes visible and viscosity does not develop. However, on the right hand side, the powder is dispersed well and starts to hydrate and dissolve just a few minutes after dosage, reaching the final viscosity in less than 20 minutes. The current commercial dry powder HECs cannot be added directly in paint at low shear conditions as lumping will occur. Lumps will be formed as a consequence of insufficient dispersion preceding hydration and dissolution of the powder. In the bottom image, a lump is shown that was isolated from the paint. When these lumps are opened, these may even show not wetted dry powder inside. The versatility of use of hydroxyethyl cellulose in the paint making process has certain restrictions and limitations. Upon exposure of the highly hydrophilic HEC dry powder to a water based medium while applying only low shear conditions, the powder particles will immediately stick together. In multiple discussions with customers around the world, this limitation of the use of HEC was brought forward. Customers also indicated that if this phenomenon could be prevented, it would greatly enhance and broaden the applicability of HEC. The hypothesis is that if the particles can be separated first, prior to hydration, the HEC will dissolve quickly without the lumping effect to occur. If sticking of the particles occurs before full dispersion is obtained, the particles will agglomerate and form virtually insoluble lumps. Incomplete dissolution will result in insufficient buildup of viscosity in the paint and may even become visible as coarse particles in the dry paint film after application. These images and pictures visualize the formation of lumps. Dry powder is surrounded by a gel phase, restricting penetration of water and full wetting of the powder inside, needed to reach complete hydration and dissolution. Dissolution of such a gel particle may take hours, up to even days, even when intensive stirring is applied. ASI's R&D team had a clear assignment. First, gain understanding of the parameters and dynamics influencing the lump formation of HEC under various paint processing conditions and subsequently design a new cellulose-based thickener showing easy to disperse properties not sensitive to lump formation under a wide range of process conditions. Detecting lumps is relatively easy due to their distinct visibility. To quantify lumping on the other hand and actually measuring the amount of polymer remaining in lump form versus in solution requires a specialized approach. The approach is based upon the fact that polymer remaining in lump form, unlike the solubilized portion, does not contribute to solution viscosity. As a result, by following viscosity development as a function of time, one can gain a direct insight into the dynamics of polymer dispersion and dissolution, as well as to determine the amount of undissolved polymer in the form of lumps at the end of the experiment. Building this understanding has been the basis for the development of the new technology concept, finally resulting in Natrosol Performax. The viscosity development can be conveniently followed using a viscometer. This viscometer is well suited for this purpose due to the real-time data acquisition, 
broad range and rotational speed of up to 700 RPM, and most importantly, broad dynamic range of the torque transducer for up to 30 millinewton meters. The setup initially used for studying the dispersion of HEC and defining the technology concept is shown in these images. The setup consists of a viscometer with custom-fit 1.5-inch marine blade propeller and allows simulation of low shear stirring conditions in a paint-making process. In this graph, the building of viscosity as a function of time is shown after dosing conventional HEC in different forms to an unthickened water-based paint system. The blue line indicates the profile obtained when dosing a pre-made HEC intermediate. It can be clearly seen that the HEC starts to thicken the paint almost immediately after dosage, building the viscosity to a maximum level in less than 15 minutes and not giving rise to any lump formation. The orange line, on the other hand, represents the dissolution profile of the same conventional HEC, but now added as a dry powder applying the same stirring conditions. Note that the additions are carried out in a manner such that the resulting polymer concentrations and paint compositions remain identical in both cases. In case of no lump formation, the orange line should coincide with the blue line, which clearly is not the case. The big difference between the orange line and the blue line indicates that when dosing dry HEC, lumping and incomplete dissolution results in a strongly reduced build of viscosity. The challenge of the technical team was to reach the dissolution properties of pre-made intermediate but using HEC in the dry powder form instead. The technology built into Natrosol Performax provides quick dispersion and dissolution even when the HEC is dosed as a dry powder and incorporated under low shear conditions. The green line showing the dissolution profile obtained with Natrosol Performax when added dry is similar to the dissolution profile of the conventional HEC added as a slurry. Unlike the extensive lumping resulting from direct dry addition of the conventional HEC, Natrosol Performax rapidly builds viscosity in the fluid without forming any lumps. What do these new characteristics of the new HEC mean for your paint making process? As already highlighted in the introduction, in the traditional paint making process, HEC is dosed either as a dry powder in the dispersion phase of paint production or as a liquid pre-made intermediate in both dispersion and letdown stage. In this conventional setup, it is virtually impossible to dose dry HEC powder at the end of the dispersion stage or under very low shear conditions in the final phase of paint production without encountering problems with incomplete dispersion and dissolution. This would eventually negatively affect the paint characteristics and the final paint application properties. The use of Natrosol Performax now opens up the possibility to partly or completely shift the point of dosage during the paint manufacturing process. As an example, Instead of dosing conventional HEC at the start of the paint making procedure, it now will be possible to dose HEC at the end of the dispersing phase. As viscosity build in the grinding stage is minimized, it will allow operation at much lower grind viscosities, thus potentially improving the fineness and efficiency of grinding of pigments and fillers, saving cost of energy, and speeding up the manufacturing process. The easy to disperse properties of Natrosol Performax enable formulators and plant managers to take a fresh look at the sequence of addition of raw materials and allow the optimization of the entire paint production process. Customers will now have available a new tool to optimize their paint manufacturing process. The use of Natrosol Performax not only delivers cost savings through process improvement, but also leads to the development of new paint formulations. This substantially increases solids content, reducing the use of water and building coating systems or plasters with extremely high viscosities. As Natrosol Performax will also readily disperse and dissolve in a freshly produced paint under conditions generally maintained in a blending tank, the new product can also be used for post-viscosity adjustment. 
In case a batch would not meet viscosity specifications, it will now be possible to use the same dry HEC for correction purposes instead of switching to a different thickening technology, potentially changing or even negatively influencing paint properties and performance. Different grades of Natrosol Performax are available covering a wide range of properties. Both Natrosol Performax 1325 and 1425 are based on regular HEC technology. These products show excellent performance and thickening efficiency in a wide range of paint systems. For the formulation of paints showing the highest level of performance, including improved leveling and spatter resistance, Natrosol Performax 2125 and 2580 are recommended. In order to show the versatility and benefits of Natrosol Performax, we would like to take you through two practical examples. Both examples relate to improvement of the grinding process. Case 1 describes the future state. HEC dosage is partly removed from grinding stage to letdown stage. The example shows 90% of total dosage of HEC has been moved to the final stage of paint production. This reduces the viscosity of the grind, greatly improves mixing and grinding conditions, and also opens up the possibility for formulators to increase their solids content of the grind. Case 2 describes the current state. Today, customers are dosing all HEC in the grinding stage, leading to very strong viscosity build, relatively poor mixing, and potentially inadequate grinding. As the use of Natrosol Performax allows optimization of the viscosity and the rheology of a pigment grind, immediate positive effects are both a reduced power draw by the stirring equipment and a reduced wear. The data shown here were obtained in a pilot scale paint production of 1,000 kilograms using 2.5 kilograms HEC. Energy consumption was measured for both the control batch produced with conventional HEC and dosed 100% in the grind. A second batch was produced using Natrosol Performax 1325. In the latter case, 30% of the total dosage was dosed at the end of the grinding stage. The optimization of the grind eventually resulted in more than 20% savings of energy and additionally a 30 to 50% reduction of transfer time from grinding vessel to letdown tank due to the lower viscosity of the grind improving the pumpability. Natrosol Performax will provide the same beneficial properties to a final paint as conventional HEC. Natrosol Performax will offer great additional value when developing new paint formulations, enabling formulators to design paints with higher solids content. Further, Natrosol Performax will allow changing the way of using HEC in a paint production process, leading to streamlining and debottlenecking of a plant. It will be of significant importance that both R&D technical teams and plant operations jointly look at the opportunities Natrosol Performax is offering for improvement of the paint production process. Ashland's technical teams have acquired a lot of experience during the developmental stage of this new technology, gaining insight in the appropriate implementation of Natrosol Performax in a paint production process. This experience is available in the form of both a complete set of written user guidelines and through direct assistance and advice by members of the team. The performance of Natrosol Performax has been tested and validated in a broad range of paint formulations formulated on the basis of a wide variety of raw materials. Key dry film properties such as scrub resistance and stain resistance and key application properties have been evaluated and compared with paints based on conventional HEC. In all cases, Natrosol Performax delivered exactly the same paint showing the same properties and characteristics. Natrosol Performax is designed for use in paint and is highly user-friendly. Natrosol Performax will provide robust and reliable thickening in any paint system based on any type of binder system. Natrosol Performax has built-in technology that enables dry HEC to disperse easily and even makes it suitable for dosing in a ready paint. Natrosol Performax will show different physical properties as compared to conventional HEC.
For an optimal use, a number of use guidelines have been defined, allowing formulators to work with the thickener without encountering major limitations or restrictions. Key parameter influencing the speed of thickening is the pH of the water-based coating system. At low pH, Natrosol Performax will disperse very easily but will not thicken rapidly. In order to accelerate the thickening of the paint, it will be required to increase the pH to minimum 8, a value commonly established in paint systems. As stated, Natrosol Performax has been designed to optimally function under paint processing conditions. Optimal hydration and dissolution speed will therefore be obtained at temperatures between 30 and 45 degrees Celsius. For paint formulation, Natrosol Performax requires as much water prior to the powder addition as possible. A neutralizing agent can be added after addition of the powder to speed up dissolution if needed. In addition, a preparation of a slurry in water is possible. A slurry will show delayed swelling, gelling, and allows extended processing time. Natrosol Performax is highly compatible with commercial binder systems available on the market today and used for the formulation of water-based decorative paint systems. Experience has shown that some grades containing low levels of surfactants may show instability when changing the sequence of addition of raw materials or reducing the content of water in a formulation. In those cases, it is always recommended to dose Natrosol Performax prior to the dosage of the binder and subsequently finalize the paint formulation following standard procedures. Natrosol Performax is highly compatible with commercial binder systems available on the market today and used for the formulation of water-based decorative paint systems. Experience has shown that some grades containing low levels of surfactants may show instability when changing the sequence of addition of raw materials or reducing the content of water in a formulation. In those cases, it is always recommended to dose Natrosol Performax prior to the dosage of the binder and subsequently finalize the paint formulation following standard procedures. Natrosol hydroxyethylcellulose is a well-recognized leading thickener for waterborne architectural coatings for more than 50 years. Ashland now proudly introduces Natrosol Performax hydroxyethylcellulose, a breakthrough innovation taking paint manufacturing to unprecedented levels of process flexibility, ease of use, and paint quality. For additional information regarding Natrosol Performax HEC, visit ashland.com forward slash Natrosol Performax or contact your local sales representatives from one of the numbers below.